Hey everybody, this is Flavio Romeo, and on this episode of the Towncast, we had the opportunity of catching up with Tommy Pasquale. He's the young man that is walking across America to raise money for the charity that helps support homeless veterans. So um, we, we did talk to him about five, six weeks ago, and he was in Tennessee at the time. He is now in Dallas, and, and I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're Giant fans, George Martin did the same thing. So we're going to try to reach out to George Martin, and maybe the two can connect. Uh, he's in Dallas, and we want to wish him a Merry Christmas. He's on his own this Christmas. He did have a chance to spend some time with his folks, uh, but he is on his own. So maybe you could find him on social media and uh, wish him a, a very Merry Christmas. All right, enjoy the episode, everybody. Everybody, uh, so you know, we talked to this young man five weeks ago, early November. We talked to him. He started in September to walk across America for for homeless veterans, and and now he's halfway through. I, it it just boggles my mind that this kid is halfway through walking from New Jersey to California. He's halfway through. He's in. He's right around Dallas. So. Welcome, Tommy Pasquale. Tommy, thank you so much for coming on again. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I appreciate you having me back on. I had a, I had a lot of fun last time. Um, so yeah, it was when you invited me back, I was eager to eager to be a part of it. Well, and and I really wanted to bring you back on because it's it's Christmas time, and you know, Christmas means family, it means friends, it means you know, getting together, and and now here you are in Dallas thousands of miles away from your family. And so I'm, I'm glad that we're able to do this. Wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas. Uh, and, and I'm glad that we're able to do this. Now you've, you've got some company there though, right? I mean, this is, we're recording this a week before Christmas. Mm -hmm. so, so tell me who's, uh, cause you, you're looking a little posh for someone <laughs> that's walking across America. You're a little posh with the microwave and the coffee maker. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, this, uh, this journey, you know, I've, I've uh, been roughing it a little bit here and there, but definitely weekend. Uh, I'm living a little bit large here. Um, I've been fortunate. I, uh, my parents and my brother and my sister came out to visit me in Dallas. Um, just kind of a little pre-Christmas Christmas celebration here. Um, the holidays are definitely a little bit different than normal, but uh, they came out to visit me. I obviously appreciate uh, them coming to do, and it's, and it's good to see them. Um, we spend the weekend together here, um, watch some Giants, watch some Seton Hall, go out, have a few drinks, have a few laughs. And uh, and uh, so it's just, it's good to see them. It's really, especially about the halfway point here. Um, it's good to be going here. And I think it's going to reduce my batteries a little bit for sure. Well, all right. So, so you brought up, you brought up the Giants and, and, you know, you, you probably weren't born when George Martin was playing for the Giants. <laughs> But so so George Martin, my brother Marcello, reminded mm -hmm. me of the fact that George Martin did something very similar to what you're doing right now. He walked across America, did it for the 9/11 victims and families and, and first responders, uh, and and I, I got to tell you, you know, he started. You what was the date that you started? I started on uh, September 19th. September 19th. Okay, so ironically, and did you did, did you pick that for any particular reason? No, honestly, uh, you know, I wanted to leave after the summer because I wanted to enjoy my summer down the shore. Um, and, you know, I, I said, you know, I'm going to be leaving as soon as uh, as soon as the fall gets started here. Um, and I kind of that was just a Monday. So I figured I'd start at the beginning of the week. Um, no, no real uh, symbolism or anything special about September 19th. There is now. Um, I definitely won't forget September 19th anymore. But uh, but yeah, nothing special going into it. Well, it's interesting because George Martin started on September 16th mm. and, and, and it took him 10 months to, to complete his trek, walking from the George Washington Bridge, walking all the way, I think, believe, to, uh, to San Diego. Uh, so you're, you're at the halfway point. Have you figured out kind of where you're going to fall in by the end of this? Like what, what month? 
Yeah, so I'm looking to hopefully uh, finish the beginning of April. Uh, possibly, you know, I've been pacing pretty well. Um, so possibly sometime maybe in March. Um, we'll wow. see. I'm not, I'm not in any particular rush. Uh, although I would say, you know, I've been doing this for a while now. Uh, I definitely don't want to be doing this forever. So, you know, I picked up the pace a little bit. I started at like doing 20 miles a day. Um, now, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit stronger and I'm a little bit, uh, you know, just more used to the to the grind and I'm, I'm able to push it on some days, you know, 30 miles. So definitely- 30 miles a day. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, uh, it's honestly kind of unbelievable. I, I uh, you know, the days that I walk 30 miles, I'm- it's a lot, obviously, but you know, my, my body is, it's just, it feels so much different than when I started. And I'm just, uh, I've just adjusted, but it, it is crazy to me when I think I am waking up today and I'm walking, you know, 28, 29, 30 miles. Um, and it is, it is pretty brutal because it takes all day, but, uh, but I mean, I just, you know, getting used to it. So, but, uh, but so, but like I said, just getting that pace up, um, because, you know, I, I got to get back home at some point to see everybody. <laughs> in, uh, so I can't, I can't dilly dally along, but yeah, I know George Martin, uh, you know, he wasn't, he, he's, I, I never saw him play, but he's up in the ring of honor. I know all about him. My dad loves him. My dad tells stories about George Martin. Um, and they tell it at the, all, at all, all the old guys at the tailgates back in the parking lot E6, they still tell the tales of George Martin. Um, and yeah, so I, I know he did this um, and I would love to get in contact with him because um, I, you know, I think he would appreciate it. He knows uh, he knows what it's about. He knows the struggle. Well, and, and I, I tell you, everybody that's watching, everybody that's listening, uh, just, you know, tag George Martin on all of these videos because we want to get him, we want to get in touch with him. We would love to connect you with George because like you said, he knows the struggle. Now, I, you know, I, I looked it up and it took him 10 months. He went, he was only doing about 22 miles a day. And I think because he was kind of a, you know, bigger guy, but he also lost 40 pounds. I mean, how, how have you been doing with your, your, you're looking thinner than when we talked to you five weeks ago. Yeah. I mean, wise, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have 40 pounds to lose from, you know, <laughs> no, you don't. I'm not, I'm not a particularly big guy, but, uh, I, my body is definitely different, um, than when I started, I, I've definitely lost some weight. Um, you know, I'm, it's, I'm just like a weird build that, you know, when I started, I was a little bit more proportional, a little bit skinnier down in the legs and maybe a little bit stronger up top. Uh, but now I'm pretty, pretty, I'm skinny and out top a little bit. And, uh, and I'm kind of, uh, I'm a little bottom heavy now from pushing that cart up all those hills in Tennessee. And uh, so I, you know, uh, down low, I'm looking, you know, Saquon in the, in the quads and in the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely lost a few pounds, but, uh, but I'm sure when I get back home and, uh, you know, get back home to mom's cooking, you know, pound on the pasta and the, and the pizza. pizza. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be able to put it back on real quick. Well, and, and some other interesting notes. So, so George Martin went through 24 pairs of shoes. He went through 80 pairs of socks. How are you doing in terms of sneakers? Are, you're walking in sneakers, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. yeah so I'm, uh, when I got to this hotel here in Dallas, I actually, uh, had got uh, sneakers sent to the front desk. So now I'm on pairs uh, uh, five and six. Um, and I want to say, give a shout out to Hoka and Newton Running. They sent me some sneakers. So I appreciate that. Um, so I'm definitely nice. going to get to, get to, you know, step in in those once I leave Dallas, which I'm excited for. Um, but yeah, the, the shoes, uh, the shoes are definitely wearing down uh, quickly. <laughs> quickly. And listen, for, for you guys listening, you guys watching, uh, you know, he, he can always use your support, your, your emotional support, send him, send him messages. Uh, he's on Instagram and it's, tell me your Instagram, your Instagram tag. Yeah. At, uh, Tommy underscore walks underscore America. But yeah, definitely send, send me a shout out. Um, I check, you know, um, I, I check that stuff every night. Um, cause I don't have much going on, uh, a lot of the time after walking. Um, uh, but yeah, all, all that's by, I really appreciate, you know, any, any support and, uh, and any messages I get. And listen, you know, guys, he needs sneakers, he needs socks, he needs food. 
uh, in addition to the charity that you're working for, I mean, I feel like you yourself are charity. You're walking 3,000 some odd miles, which is just insane to me. Uh, and, and you're halfway through. So so talk a little bit about why you even started doing this. Yeah, so obviously, you know, it's crazy to you. It's, it's you know, it's crazy to me too. So I think a lot of people, when they when I talk to them about it, they're like, oh, this kid's crazy. And like, I'm very self-aware that it's definitely, a, it's definitely nuts that I'm walking 3,000 miles across the country. Um, and I, I realize it today. Um, but, you know, to get started with this journey, um, it's something that kind of, you know, always dreamt of doing at least for the past few years, especially when I was cooped up in the house for COVID. Um, so I, I, you know, decided, hey, like if, if there's ever a time to go for it, it's now you're young, strong and healthy. Um, so, hey, if you want to get the step in, now's the time to do it. Um, I figured, you know, you can't be walking across the country, uh, you know, for no reason. So, uh, I, I've always been pretty passionate about uh, helping veterans in any way I can. I, I uh, you know, have a lot of veterans in my family, a lot of friends who are, are vets or active duty. Um, so it's, it's something I've always been passionate about. Um, I'm a pretty patriotic guy. Um, and I've always, you know, just growing up you know, my family just kind of instilled in me just the the reverence and, and respect to have for veterans. So I try and help in any way I can. So I got linked up with the uh, National Coalition for Homeless Veterans. Um, and I, I think that's a great charity just to trying to get the, you know, brave men and women who help serve this country, you know, make sure that all of them, you know, have a place to hang at at the end of the day when they get home. Um, I don't think that's too much to ask. So yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm still excited uh, to be doing it and to get up every day and walk. Although it is wearing on me a little bit, but uh, I know that there's people who have sacrificed a lot more. So when you like when I put it in perspective like that, um, it makes it easy to get up and, and walk every morning. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it just just the thought of what they had to do when they woke up every morning, especially the you know combat veterans that woke up they didn't even know if they were going to wake up the next morning so it, it really right. is it's amazing that you're doing this for them um it, so last time we talked to you you were in tennessee you were shooting baskets in tennessee and now you're in dallas so i was looking at the map in fact i want to i want to give everybody a uh, an idea of what we're doing here so <laughs> let's see if that worked Did that work yeah i can All see right, it so so he started, he's just so everybody gets an idea. He started here and he walked all the way here through here. And then, he, and then he ended up now he's here somewhere around Dallas, right? Yep. Right there. And you've had some storms. I mean, this, this past week, it's been tornadoes and it's all we kept hearing about on the news is all the way. Did you get, did you get affected by any of that? I mean, yeah. So honestly, up until I to kind of on the border of, of uh, Texas, Arkansas and Texas, I, you know, I was pretty blessed on weather. I, I caught in the rain a few times here and there, um, but no snow, limited rain. So weather was pretty good. And then when I got to Texas, uh, yeah, I got, I got hit with a lot of storms from Texas, Canada, Dallas. You know, I got wet. I got, uh, uh, you know, and uh, I'll be and what you it, like a poncho. Do you have an umbrella? What do you do when it's raining? Yeah. So, I mean, I tarp up the, uh, the American girl and, and try and keep everything in the cart dry. Um, and then I have a bunch of, you know, rain gear and it's good, but I mean, when you're stuck in the, you know, a downpour, you, you're going to get wet. And, uh, so, I mean, it's, it's not great when, you know, you're wet, I, but I'm more worried about the stuff in the cart. Cause I know once I get to the hotel or wherever I'm going, I can pop that stuff off and, and I'll get dry. Um, but, but yeah, I got caught in, uh, some pretty bad thunderstorms the other day, um, just outside of Dallas, um, when I was walking up and I knew that they were coming. So I was like, all right, I'm playing a little bit lighter today because there's going to be some serious, you know, thunder and lightning. And I got caught in the, you know, in just the beginning of it for probably 15 minutes. And then I, you know, I'm soaking wet and I get into this hotel room and I turn on the TV and I mean, the, uh, you know, the emergency sirens going, they're like, beep, beep. and then it's tornado warning. There's like, there's three touchdowns in, uh, you know, this town. Um, huh. I'm like, where is that town? And so I look it up on my phone. I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's nine miles away. I'm like, oh man. I was like, I can't even imagine. Wow. American girl getting swept up like the wicked witch of the West in a, in a <laughs> tornado. Spinning yeah. around. Yeah. So, so, so what do you have in the cart? Because we're going to show a picture of, of the cart. 
What do you what do you have? What are you walking with on a daily basis in the cart? Yes. Yeah, so in the car is uh, I got camping gear, the tent, the sleeping bag. Um, so that good stuff. I got a lot of clothes, um, a lot, you know, a little bit of food just to keep me going. A um, bunch of sneakers. Um, what else? Just some just some like, you know, little, uh, you know, toiletries and some, uh, you know, miscellaneous things like the battery and the charger and, and all that good stuff to keep me all stuff and, uh, and keep me connected. Uh, but that's pretty much it um the card is heavy the card is really heavy card so, alone is heavy <laughs> yeah so when but when i'm pushing uh it's it's honestly you know since arkansas since i gone to arkansas it's been pretty and that's honestly one of the reasons i've been able to up the mileage it's because it's not flat nice and flat and it's 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 pretty easy to push it when it's flat it was it was tougher in virginia and tennessee through all those uh those hills and mountains but yeah it's uh it's the American girl. She is my teammate, but sometimes it feels like she's fighting me, and uh, you know she's pushing against me. But, but yeah, it's uh, the card is uh, the card's holding up pretty well. So lock on wood there. But halfway through, um, she's still she's still riding pretty smooth. So how's it been between tennis the last time we spoke and now? How's how's have you had people like come up to you? Have you had people that heard about your story and and just want to connect with you? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, since the last time we talked, um, I think when I when I talked to you the first time, that was the first you know podcast I did. That was I had done some interviews here and there for you know newspapers and local newspapers. But after we had talked, I got some a little bit more. Uh, I got some actions with some local news channels in Tennessee, and and uh, did some interviews with Fox News and stuff like that. Um, so I, you know, the got out a little bit and people have, uh, you know, have come up to me or, or stopped on the road and be like, Hey, are you that kid? You know, that I saw on, on Fox news is walking across America. I was like, nice. yeah, I was like, yeah, that's me. They're like, wow, that's crazy. So pe people are, uh, they're funny. And I, you know, I enjoy when people stop and talk to me. Um, but yeah, there's been some people who, who stop and talk and, and know who I am and, and what's going on, which is, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I've met, uh. I've been able to meet a lot of a lot of people since the last time we spoke um and a lot of them you know kind of know my story and, and know what's going on so i, I think that's uh it's I, that, I always thought that was pretty cool every time someone stops it's uh it's kind of uh it's kind of cool cool to talk to these people yeah well and again i encourage you guys watching and listening to to reach out to them and and you know donate some money he's doing this for a cause it's an amazing cause and and you know he's doing it to raise money for this. He's not looking to raise money for himself. I mean, and that's, that's admirable. You don't have a GoFundMe page. You're just, you're just doing this to get across America, to help raise awareness of the situation. There's something like over 30,000, right? 30,000 veterans. Yeah. On any given night, it's, it's 38,000 veterans go to sleep homeless in this country. Yep. And it's just, it's forgotten. Nobody talks about it. You never see it on the news. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you're bringing awareness to this and, and also just send him words of encouragement. If you happen to be on the right, I mean, he's here. You still have like six inches to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's tough terrain because we had, we had the Hurley brothers who mm -hmm. ironically were cycling from the West coast to Florida mm -hmm. and cycled through the mountains. And they talked about, you know, how grueling it is. So you've got, you've got Arizona, you've got some really tough terrain ahead of you. Do yeah. you, do you foresee, are there certain challenges that you foresee? Have you, have you mapped it out and said, Oh, I am not looking forward to this stretch of this trip. Yeah. I mean, I like, you know, like I said, from, you know, from Arkansas to here, it's been pretty flat, which is awesome. And, you know, it stays flat for a while there into the desert. Um, but I know there's definitely some, uh, you know, some mountains, yeah, right over there in New Mexico and, and Arizona and into California. So I particularly look forward to that. And then I think just in general, being in the desert, you know, I've mapped out the route. Um, it's kind of, it's a little barren in some spots. So, yeah. you know, I, I, not, you know, I'm not too worried about it, but I, I think there's going to be, you know, long stretches and long periods of time where, you know, I'm out in the deck. So I just, you know, want to make sure that I'm prepared when I go in, you know, maybe have some extra tires for the cart just in case, uh, make sure I got my big five gallon jug of water set up and have, have all the food and, 
and stuff because uh, I think there's a few stretches, you know, past uh, El Paso and from New Mexico to Arizona where, you know, I'm going to be I'm going to be out in the desert and, uh, you know, I'm going to be out there a while and uh, kind of just, you know, by myself. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's something I'm a little worried about. I think my mom's more worried about anything, um, but uh, but yeah. And I also feel like once I've gotten you know to Arizona and stuff, like, I'm gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm gonna be real fired up and uh, just be able to keep pushing. But and we'll, we'll see. Yeah. And, and listen for for you guys watching, you guys listening. If you have relatives, you have friends, you you know people, business associates, whatever it is, in this stretch of land from Dallas to you're looking to come in at San Diego. That area? Uh, in uh, Venice Beach, so right over in LA. So if you know people this stretch, especially right here, these like yeah. four inches of death, yeah. have them go out, have them contact Tommy. You can get them on Instagram, say, where are you going to be? We want to bring you water. We want to bring you food. I mean, you're what? it's different if you're cycling through the desert, no mm -hmm. offense to the Hurley brothers, you're <laughs> cycling through the desert with an RV that has all the supplies in it you have a shopping cart. You're walking across and you're not a sports figure. You're not George Martin. You didn't win a Super Bowl. You don't have a lot of fans that are out there wanting your autograph. You're Tommy Pasquale with a shopping cart. So yeah. if you guys know people in that stretch of land, in that stretch of desert, have them go out, have them contact them, go out, bring them food, bring them sneakers, bring them socks and, and help support them and, and give them a word of encouragement. Uh, because I feel like that's going to be that's going to be the toughest part, and I definitely want to connect with you again. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, once once you're in that stretch, you know, in the next month or so, we want to connect again and uh, and and talk to you about how how it's been going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited. Anytime you want to have me on, I'm I'm excited to come on. So just let you just let me know. Oh, I, and I like to think that it's the town cast because we had you on the podcast, and now all of a sudden, all the news stations they're all like, "Oh, look at this story! Come on." You know, I, listen, that that hasn't uh, that hasn't gotten to me. And honestly, I'm happy we did it. Uh, you know, I reviewed the tape after we, we talked the first time. I was like, OK, maybe slow down a little bit, get the, you know, your arms and your, you know, uh, you know, tighten it up a little bit. But I, I thought it was it was definitely a good way to start it. Um, and I've had some practice since. So that's the, I was coming on. I was like, oh. You know, this is going to be my, my second appearance. Hopefully, um, I'm a little bit sharper and we'll review tape and, you know, we'll see some progression from the first to, to, to now. Well, and I have to tell you, you know, you're maintaining your do. You, you got no face, you know, so you're shaving, you're keeping your hair tight. I like that. You're, 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 you're you know, you present yourself. For someone who's walked like 1,500 miles, you, you look pretty good. Yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I know that you, your mom and dad are there, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So give them a call. And they're in the room. Give them a call and bring them on. Bring them on. I want to ask them some questions. All right. Let me give them, let me give them a call here. Should be, they're right in the room next door. I think they, they might be excited about that. When I told them I was doing this. Hi, mom. All right. You guys, are you guys over there? You want to come over here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and what's, yeah, your, think, what's your mom and dad's name my mom's name is rosanna and my dad's name is uh is peter and my little brother's name is is matt and my sister's name is jesse jesse are you are you in the room right now jess jess why don't you come over here? <laughs> where's jesse bring her over here where's jesse Yay! hi Jessa, what do you think about what your brother's doing it's crazy but we're proud of him <laughs> Hi, mom. It's a bit, there, <laughs> there she is, Mama Pasquale and Daddy Pasquale. Where's Where's Maddie P? He fell asleep. He fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? What are you? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I have to ask you. So, so Rosanna and Peter, right? Yes. Right. When 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 Tommy first said, "You know what? I think I'm going to walk across America." When he <laughs> When he first came up with the idea, what What went through your head? I was speechless. I didn't know what to say. I was, I was in shock. I didn't think he was going to do it. I was right. hoping he would do it. It was one of those, okay, go have a sandwich. Exactly. Yeah. We were sitting on the beach on vacation, and he decides to tell us all on the beach. On the Yeah, go, go in the water, swim, <laughs> have a hot dog. Yeah. We, were, we were in shock. Wow. So, so Peter, so when, when 
when he first said, okay, and he started putting the plans together, started the shopping cart, the whole thing, what were, what were you thinking? Well, at, at, like Rosanna said, we were kind of hoping that he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't go through this. But as the, the cart started to arrive in the tent and my basement was looking like a staging area and, you know, we said, looks like he's going to do it. So at that point, I kind of shifted gears and decided to, uh, you know, to, uh, I don't think I, I don't think I would, I think I would say I supported him. I didn't necessarily encourage him at that point. But I've right. grown to I've grown now to see how committed he is and and his passion for the project that I've grown to support him more and more with passing debt. Yeah, well, what did your what did your friends say? Like neighbors, friends, relatives, what did they say when you told them what was happening? Well, you should say that because so many of them have been very, very supportive. All of our friends and our family and our you know, people we go to church with and colleagues, and they, they've all been very, very supportive. They've donations. They've asked if they can help Tommy personally. And it's really, it's really been an amazing show of support from all of our friends and family. And that was helpful to us because we weren't sure. I mean, at, at, a, at the beginning, I wasn't sure whether this was the right thing or not, but uh, people have really come to, to, uh, to support Tommy thoroughly. Well, and, and we're, we're going to put this out on Christmas Day. Uh, I know that you guys aren't going to be able to celebrate Christmas together. It's it's awesome that you're there. This is we're we're recording this right now on December seventeenth, a week before Christmas. Uh, so it's 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 awesome that you're able to at least share this time. When do you guys go back to Jersey? On Monday. Monday. So it's yeah. nice. It's nice that you have this time together. Okay. Yeah, and and be able to celebrate. It's gonna be it's gonna be weird, right? This is the first Christmas that you're not gonna have your little boy there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is true. weird, but it's coming. You know, it's only a couple months away, so he's gone this far. Yeah, well, we'll keep we'll keep in touch with him and and make sure that you guys know that he's doing okay. And 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 so Jesse, so are, are you guys twins? Yeah, yeah. we're twins. <laughs> You're twins. Look at that. So so, what did you think when you told your? Fr- Obviously, you grew up with the same friends, right? Yeah. Same school, same class. What did what what did your friends say when you first told them? what an idiot your brother was. (laughs) (laughs) I think at first they were in shock and didn't believe it. But then once he actually started, everyone's super supportive of him. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And, and, you know, I, again, I encourage people find him, give me your shout out again. Give me your, uh, your, your tag on, uh, on Instagram. Yeah. At Tommy underscore walks underscore America. So, so reach out, uh, give him your support. Cause you know, I get lonely when I walk around the block. <laughs> so I can't imagine, you know, walking like here we are. You started here and you're going here <laughs> and you're here right now. I mean, this is all just craziness to me. And 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 also, you know, George Martin, I know you're going to be watching this. So reach out to Tommy, Tommy underscore walks underscore America. Uh, it's an amazing cause that, that you're doing this for. And, uh, you know, tell Matt that he missed out. He, he could have been. On I know. Yeah. Could have been, I remember. Have been. I remember George Martin doing this. That was something. I remember George Martin as a player too. He was a great player. Yeah, I mean, you know, all Giants fans in this house. So, so, and, yeah. and I completely forgot that he's my brother. Marcello reminded me. He's like, oh yeah, George Martin did this. I completely forgot. So I went through it, and you know, he was a slightly larger guy. Yeah. Than, than your time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, you know, it's it's great to see you all. It's great to meet you all. Uh, tell Matt that he missed out. He's going to watch. He's like, why didn't you wake me? <laughs> and it's, it's awesome that you could share this time together. And and Tommy, just, you know, we're going to connect again. Uh, I want to wish you, your family, your friends, everybody, a wonderful Christmas and uh, and a great New Year's. Any resolutions? You guys have any resolutions that you already thought of? No. I picture no. Tommy just saying, I'm I never going to walk, do this again. Home, yeah. I'm going to try and walk some extra miles every day. Make sure I get my steps in. That's my resolution. <laughs> are you are you monitoring your steps? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. Uh, at first, I was, like, really into it. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like, wow, you're doing 50,000 steps, 60,000 steps a day. And now it's the point where I'm like, you're taking a lot of steps, buddy. We get it. You do, you do, a, lot, you do a lot of steps. So I'm like, it's a lot of miles. All right. It would be amazing to tally them all at the end and figure out, you you know, you had, like, 1,200,087 steps. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be able to figure it out. I, I I'm tracking them. I don't look at it as much, but if they're tracking every day, so I got them, I got them. I'll be able to add them up. Well, I figure if you have an iPhone, I figure Apple's going to be like, what is this kid doing? I mean, he's tracking. Yeah. Where is he going? And he's walking so much. 
<laughs> well, I want to wish you all a, a wonderful Christmas and uh, a blessed new year. And, and Tom, you got a lot of people behind you. We're going to, we're going to stir up more people. We're going to get George Martin. You watch Peter, you watch, we're going to get George Martin behind him. that will be great. Uh, a lot of giant fans right here. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, you know, and you're doing it for an amazing cause as he did uh, when he did it for nine 11. So uh, keep the shoes coming, keep the socks coming, keep the food coming. And I encourage everybody that's watching and listening, go to Tommy underscore walks, underscore America, send them your love, send them your, your, uh, your well wishes. And if you can try to figure out where he is right in here, he's going to need some help. So, you know, bring the food, bring, don't bother bringing pizza. Cause it's yeah. just not, it's not the same. So <laughs> wait till he comes back to Jersey, but Bring them food, bring them water, and certainly bring them encouragement. So, again, I wish you guys a, a wonderful Christmas and a, uh, a blessed New Year. Thank, Thank you. you. Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Ah, si <laughs> Buon Natale. That's, yeah, right. Merry Christmas. That's honestly, hey, that's honestly the thing I'm missing most about Christmas. We're missing out on those seven fish. That's, I'm a little upset about that, but, you know, we'll, we'll get it back next. But that's uh, that's one thing I'm really missing out on this year. Well, where you are right now in Texas, you can get like seven different types of ribs. <laughs> seven different types of barbecue. That's what you're going to get right in this little stretch here. <laughs> All right, don't go away. I'm going to sign off and then I'll uh, come back and say goodbye. All right, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, listen, guys, again, I, I encourage you guys to, to find them on, uh, on Instagram, Tommy underscore walks underscore America. Send him your encouragement. He's doing an amazing task. It's it's. I don't know. I don't know anybody that's ever done this before. And I'm sure a lot of you don't other than George Martin. Uh, so I, I encourage you guys to give him some well wishes, give him your, uh, your, your, your good cheer and your tidings. And, and certainly if you can, if you can find him on the road, communicate with him and see if you can find him on the road, because I, I know he would, he would appreciate it. A, a, a warm, happy face. So uh, you guys, everybody have a wonderful Christmas, have a great new year. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Be well, everybody.